how crucial or how important the mission of Perseverance Rover to, to, the, to humanity? Wanna go first, you, Jen. Okay, so for me, like you can see in the mission control room, you can see our different races, our different ages, like different backgrounds. Um, and we're all there working together to for humanity, just to to build something that's just out of this world. And it, that's what I, I take from it. <clears throat> You add your thoughts. Yeah, uh, to echo Jen's uh, statement that that knowing that it took so many people, so many different people, um, and people that needed each other, that you couldn't do anything by yourself. No one person was so smart or so uh, perfect that they knew everything right. Uh, everybody was wrong <laughs> at some point, um, and we eventually figured it out together how to get things right and knowing that we could do that uh, working together from very different backgrounds was, was very exciting and a good thing for the world to see. And I think the science that we'll get back um, as part of this first start step of a Mars sample return um, campaign uh, could be very critical to, to our understanding of what life on the universe or in, in the universe is like. And you, Greg. I think missions like this really puts into perspective what we can accomplish together. And also, you know, Perseverance is going to do a lot of great science, but it's also going to provide us kind of a technology demonstration. And so as we want to humans to Mars in the future, we have instruments like MOXIE, which is an instrument that's going to ingest the Martian atmosphere and spit out oxygen. Um, and also landing technologies, right? We have these awesome images and videos from landing on Mars, which we've never gone before. And that in combination with a lot of other data will help us re, um, you know, build better landing systems for future missions, future robotic missions, and future human missions, hopefully. And so, you know, this is just the next step here in terms of space exploration and Perseverance is helping us get there. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I think Perseverance will be in Mars for what? Two, two more years. Is that correct? Perseverance. Yeah, yeah that's our current mission. Okay. Yeah. So what's next for you guys while Perseverance rover is in Mars? What will be the next course of actions for, for the team? Yes, Jen. Oh, for the whole team or just for me? For the whole thing. Okay, so I, I believe they're preparing for surface operations. So right now they're they're trying to switch over to the surface flight software, which will have like we'll we'll know how to drive, we'll know how to use all our instruments better. Cause right now we were still on the cruise cruise flight software, which didn't know how to do that stuff. So they're gonna switch over to the no, new operating system. And then from there, they'll start testing out all the instruments and planning out where to drive to. Got it. And how about you, Ed? What's next for you while Perseverance is, is on Mars? So over the last year, I've actually been transitioning off of, of Perseverance um, as a mission. And I've been working on other spacecraft. Uh, for example, the, the next step of uh, the Mars sample return mission um, is to send another lander uh, to go and rover to pick up the samples. And so I'm starting to have discussions about that. And also I'm starting to work on what's called the Europa Clipper mission, which is a spacecraft that will go to the icy moon of Jupiter and see uh, what we can learn about the, um, the, the icy moon and see if it's a, it, it's potential habitability for um, for life in our solar system outside of, of Earth. And you, Greg? So things were very hectic leading up to landing and even days after landing with all that images, like the videos coming down. So the first thing for me is uh, sleep, that's first. And then after that, a vacation. 
Um, but over the next few months, we're going to, the, the landing team is going to be doing an effort called reconstruction. That means we're going to look at all of our data from landing. We're going to look at how it went and look how we thought it was going to be. And then we're going to compare those two and then just kind of put together reports and papers and present these out to our, to our community to understand how well we did so that, that can inform future decisions. But after Perseverance, you know, I, there's so many things you can do at JPL, at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, um, like Ed is mentioning. So um, after a few months, then I'll come back and see what I would want to do. But right now I just wanna relax and take it easy. <laughs>